Hello and welcome to Earth Star Observatory. I'm Lily Walker and I'm an astrologer and a religious educator practicing classical astrology from the foundation of esoteric studies and the perennial wisdom teachings. And today I'm here to introduce a new learning series on revolutions, as in Viva la Revoluzzi and Eat the Rich and politics? <laughs> no, not that kind of revolution. I'm talking about your revolution, the revolution of the sun around your star and your yearly forecast based on the point of your solar return each year. Now, what is a revolution? It's a method of predictive astrology and a new reading that I'm offering on the website. It's a topic that I've done a significant amount of professional development in, in order to feel ready and able to offer it to you with confidence. Now, there are a number of different ways that modern astrologers approach predictive astrology. Here at Earth Star Observatory, I'm an academic astrologer. Therefore, I'm practicing the predictive method of classical astrology. This method dates all the way back to the time of Ptolemy, and perhaps even as far back as our Atlantean ancestor, Oanis, and the great King Sargon, and the Chaldean star lore. In fact, Martin Gainstein, in this book, calls this package Ptolemy's predictive package. The method takes into consideration the natal chart, the primary directions, perfections, the solar return, and transits to consider how they work together to reveal probable themes, content, and flavor of a particular year or revolution in the life of a native. Now, perhaps the best way to illustrate how this works is to show the package in action. So to that aim, I've created a publication freely available for download on my website, and just in time for Halloween and the fall season, using Ptolemy's predictive package to forecast the death of Ivan the Terrible, the very first czar of all Russians and holy emperor of the Russian Orthodox Church. Now, when we look back at the classical material, forecasting the time of death was among the first concerns of classical astrologers. Why? <laughs> well, because it was before the days of astrology software and beyond the mathematics and calculations involved in just casting a single natal chart, this method makes use of multiple charts as well as the primary directions through the bounds, which involve complex mathematics based on spherical trigonometry. Therefore, ancient astrologers didn't want to waste a whole bunch of time predicting a life that wasn't going to happen. So they took time in the beginning to get a sense for the probable longevity of their client. So when you look back at the classical text, you'll find that there's a lot of material about predicting the death of the native. Now, of course, we modern astrologers don't focus on this very much um, because there are a number of ethical moral, and even potentially legal concerns around this topic. But as you will see in the time of Ivan the Terrible, it was very different. So in this publication I have out on my website, it's um, in typical Lily fashion. It's also got a lot of religious studies and information from history. And this is because, not only because you need a certain amount of biographical information in order to get a sense for the life and times and the imprint of the native, 
right? But also because this material kind of bumped up against one of my favorite topics, and that is the sins of organized religion when it comes to blocking access to the perennial wisdom teachings. So the publication is up there on the website, and um, but I know that a lot of you, like myself, um, enjoy and appreciate content that you can listen to while you do other things. In addition, I know that some of you likely learn best in groups and with friends. So for this reason, I'm going to issue forth a, a series of videos going through the material in this publication. But before I do that, I wanted to let you know that if you find this information interesting, please do like and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to take a look at your own natal chart or your predictive package for a particular revolution, you can find me at www.earthstarom.com. Don't forget. I also have gift certificates available on my website in many different denominations. And I would be super excited to sit down with you or your family members and friends over this holiday season. So don't forget about Earth Star Observatory when you're doing your holiday shopping. I hope that you enjoy this series. <laughs> thank you for being here. And thank you most of all for the light you bring to the world because it's dark times out there right now. And it's the light that we bring that makes such a difference because like light upon light, we light it up. Thanks be, and may all beings be happy.